Hello everybody, this is Chris Gallagher of The Preacher's Pen, and I wanted to do something with you throughout 2023, hard to believe, isn't it, that we haven't done before, and that's to have a Bible study every weekday, Monday through Friday, but we're going to do it a little bit differently. One of the things we're going to do is we're going to take a chapter of the Bible and we're going to study it for that entire week. Beginning today, January 2nd, 2023, we're going to study the story of the Samaritan woman at the well, or the account of the Samaritan woman at the well in John chapter 4. Every day we're going to talk about a subject from this particular chapter and from this particular story. Today, we're just going to read through. Every Monday, we're going to read through our text. Some will be longer than others, and I would encourage you to go ahead and read through that text throughout the week as we study together. <clears throat> our goal is to put out this study every day at 3 p.m. Central Standard Time, so you will have an opportunity to go back and to watch. Now, you can find this on our Facebook page. You'll be able to find this on our website, as well as our YouTube channel, and we would love for you to come and to be a part. But let's dig into the text, if we can today. So if you have your Bibles, John chapter 4. Now today we're just going to read through the text and we're just going to emphasize certain parts, but we're just going to spend on Mondays reading through the text that we're going to be studying. And for this coming week, we're going to be studying from John chapter 4. Allow me just a sip of coffee before we begin. <clears throat> let's read together, John chapter 4. Now when Jesus learned that the Pharisees had heard that Jesus was making and baptizing more disciples than John, although G Jesus himself did not baptize but only his disciples, he left Judea and departed again for Galilee, and he had to pass through Samaria. So he came to a town of Samaria called Sychar, near the field that Jacob had given to his son Joseph, and Jacob's well was there. So Jesus, wearied as he went from his journey, was sitting beside the well, and it was about the sixth hour. A woman from Samaria came to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink, for his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. The Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, a Jew, ask for a drink from me, a woman of Samaria? For Jews had no dealings with the Samaritans. Jesus answered her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is that is saying to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us this well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. And Jesus said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again. But whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. The water that I will give him will become in him a spring of water welling up to eternal life. The woman said to him, Sir, give me this water so I will not have to be thirsty or have to come here to draw water. Jesus said to her, Go call your husband and come here. The woman answered him, I have no husband. Jesus said to her, You are right in saying, I have no husband. For you have had five husbands, and the one you now have is not your husband. What you have said is true. The woman said to him, Sir, I perceive that you are a prophet. Our fathers worship on this mountain, but you say in Jerusalem is the place where people ought to worship. Jesus said to her, Woman, believe me, the hour is coming when neither on this mountain nor in Jerusalem will you worship the Father. You worship what you do not know, and we worship what we know. For salvation is from the Jews. But the hour is coming and is now here, when true worshipers will worship the Father in spirit and in truth, for the Father is seeking such people to worship Him. For God is a spirit, and those that worship Him must worship in spirit and in truth. The woman said to Him, I know that the Messiah is coming, He who is called the Christ. When He comes, He will tell us all things. And Jesus said to her, I who speak to you am He. Just then his disciples came back. They marveled that he was talking with a woman, but no one said, What do you seek? Or why are you talking with her? So the woman had left her water jar and went away into town and said to the people, Come, see a man who told me all that I ever did. Can this be the Christ? They went out of the town and were coming to him. Meanwhile, the disciples were urging him, saying, Rabbi, eat. 
But he had said to them, I have food to eat that you do not know about. So the disciples said to one another, Has anyone brought him something to eat? Jesus said to them, My food is to do the will of him who sent me and to accomplish his work. Do you not say there are four months and then comes the harvest? Look, I tell you, lift up your eyes and see that the fields are white for harvest. Already the one who reaps is receiving wages and gathering fruit for eternal life, so that sower and reaper may rejoice together. For here is the saying that holds true, one sows and another reaps. I sent you to reap for that which you did not labor. Others have labored, and you have entered into their labor. Many Samaritans from the town believed in him because of the woman's testimony. He told me all that I ever did. So when the Samaritans came to him, they asked him to stay with them, and he stayed there two days. And many more believed because of his word. They said to the woman, It is no longer because of what you said that we believe, for we have heard it ourselves, and we know that this indeed is the Savior of the world. After the two days... He departed for Galilee, for Jesus himself had testified that a prophet has no honor in his hometown. And when he came to Galilee, the Galileans welcomed him, having seen all that he had done in Jerusalem at the feast, for they too had gone to the feast. The story of the Samaritan woman at the well and her influence over the people of the town is absolutely amazing, all because Jesus changed her life. Come back and be with us tomorrow as we dig into this story, this account, a little bit more. We're going to talk about the interaction of Jesus and this Samaritan woman. But I hope that you have a blessed day. I look forward to sharing more of this account with you tomorrow. Let's bow in a moment of prayer. Father God, we come to you today thanking you for the word that you've given us that we can read and that we can study. Father, it is our will that as we go through this word, as we study from John chapter 4 this week, that we'll be blessed, that, Father, you will enrich our lives, that we can learn much, we can learn how to deal with other people in our life, but, Father, most of all, we can learn how Jesus can change our life if we are willing and we are open. Father, thank you for loving us and caring for us, and we ask this to be your will in your son Jesus' name. Amen. I hope that you have a great day. We come back tomorrow, 3 o'clock Central Standard Time, or just look us up. On our YouTube channel, you can look up The Preacher's Pen. It should be youtube.com forward slash preacher's pen. It's facebook.com forward slash preacher's pen. Or you can go directly to our website, which is preacherspen.org. We look forward to talking to you soon. Have a blessed day.